welcome to Tiny Code Christmas Extra Day 9. Today we're going to be taking a look at a 3D landscape effect. Let's take a look at what's going on here. This was a 128 byte from Inertia um, last year. And if we take a look, we have a grid going across, going forward, and this plasma is dictating the height of the grid. And then each of the dots is just being drawn with a perspective transform. And it's also over here on Pico 8, and there's some slight changes to accommodate Pico 8, but it is running at 30 frames a second, which is always nice. So I'm going to go through the main explanation of the code on TIG80, just because the font is bigger, and then I'll just cover some of the specific uh, Pico 8 bits. So we can see here, we have T, clear the screen, X minus 20 to 120 in steps of 3, and then Z, 0 to 1000 in steps of 8. So there are X and Z coordinates. And then Y is just a plasma. So um, Y is just a plasma based on the X and Z position. And here we are plotting the X and Y coordinates with a perspective transform. So we're dividing it by Z to move it further back to the screen. And we're just... Um, essentially reusing some of the code from Tiny Code Christmas Day 11 last year. It's also the upcoming Day 11, but if you need an explanation of what's going on here in terms of perspective, you can still find Tiny Code Christmas Day 11 from last year on YouTube. But there will be a slightly different video this year, but the challenge will be mostly the same. So you can see that this is the perspective code. That's going to be almost exactly the same. This is for Y. That is setting the height, so if I modify that and subtract maybe 90, you'll see that that's the height from the where I'm looking at. And then we are simply, I'm just taking Y and dividing it by 1.8 for the colour, and that's so that I get that illusion of a road in the centre of the landscape. So back to Pico 8 then. The main thing that I did with Pico 8 was rather than uh, trying to rewrite the sign, I just multiplying them by 0 0.159 to convert the radians to turns. So you'll see I'm just multiplying it by R, multiplying it by R in a few places, and that's all that's doing. Um, and then the P set is the exact same code. I have made some slight changes in terms of the number of pixels and the spacing between them for the Pico 8 to get it down so that it is running at 30 frames a second. So there is plenty of room for improvement on this. So that is it. And this was a packed 128. And I think in terms of the challenge today, we can take both um, packed and unpacked if you want, because I'd personally be interested to see how far this gets down. Now this code will be on the website, but it's not mandatory to use it. You just have to create an effect that has essentially the height map, plasma, some color, and some movement. So, best of luck.